Hey guys, it's Beth from the Wilton Test Kitchen. I'm excited to share with you today two recipes that are perfect for when you're watching the big game with your family and your friends. We're going to do a sweet and a savory, so I want to know below, are you team sweet or are you team savory? Both of the recipes I'm going to show you today are going to be made on the mega sheet pan. It's pretty big, so it's really easy to feed a crowd. Let's get started. Team sweet, huddle up, this one's for you. I have two bags of tortilla chips. My first bag goes into my bowl, and I have two sticks of melted butter, half of which I'm going to pour right over. You can just eyeball this, no need to measure. And then I'm going to use a white cake mix to get my birthday cake flavor. Now half of the mix right into the chips, and again, eyeballing it is totally fine. And then you want about three tablespoons worth of rainbow sprinkles and then just mix it all together. And the cake mix is going to kind of coat the chips and the butter is going to help it to stick. Just be a little bit gentle. You don't want to break up the chips too, too much. Chip overboard, back in the bowl. And then we're going to put this onto our mega sheet pan. And then repeat with the second half of the ingredients. That's why you need this big of a pan. These nachos are gonna feed a huge crowd. And then just spread them out evenly into the mega pan so that they can brown off and that butter can cook and the cake mix will get nice and crispy on there. Super yummy. Pop these into the oven for about 15 minutes. We're going to top our birthday cake nachos with a bag of light cocoa candy melts. So just go ahead and melt them down according to the package directions. I'm gonna use the microwave because a really big cookie pan needs a really big spatula. Just give these a little bit of a flip around. So these have cooled for a few minutes. Now I'm going to finish them off by adding some dollops of whipped topping, just sporadically around the nachos. This is gonna make for a good dip for your chips. And then we're going to drizzle liberally with our melted candy melts. Finish off your sprinkles now. Let's give it a try. Mmm. So crispy. Man, they're good. They're really good. Serve this at your next football party. I dare you. If you serve this at your next football party, people are going to expect that you have a party all the time, and they're going to be asking for these. Team Savory, you're up. Here's some bacon cheeseburger nachos. I have a full package of bacon, about 16 ounces, cut into small pieces, about half, a, half an inch or so. We're just going to cook these off on the stove. You want to transfer the cooked bacon to paper towel lined sheet pan. And then we're going to take most of the fat out of the pan, just going to leave a little bit. And I'm going to add a pound and a quarter of lean ground beef. We're just gonna cook it in this little bit of bacon drippings. It's gonna have great flavor. And I'm going to add a little bit of hamburger seasoning, about a tablespoon, to give this really good flavor. If you don't have hamburger seasoning, salt and pepper, do it up. We're just going to drain this the same way we drained the bacon to get any excess grease out. Even though we used lean, there's still gonna be some fat there. And that would give us uh, some kind of greasy chips. Now all of our components are ready, so it's time to build. I'm going to put half of our bag of chips down, spread them into a nice, even layer. We're going to do half of our cheese, so one bag, and I'm gonna put that over the chips. It's gonna help everything else to stick. I have about a half a cup of chopped up Vidalia onion. That's a little bit of a sweeter onion. It's gonna help not be so harsh on our nacho, but you could use anything you like. Green onions would be awesome. And then we're going to do half of the bacon and then half of our ground beef. And then just repeat. So check it out. The entire bag of chips fits very easily onto this mega pan. This is perfect for a party. Pop it in the oven, put it right onto the buffet and just let people help themselves. You can totally feed a lot of people off of this pan. All of the food groups are represented. Just wait. Now this goes into the oven for five to 10 minutes, really just until the cheese gets nice and melty. Check it out, they're super bubbly and melty. Just gonna go ahead and top it with a little bit of shredded lettuce, some freshly diced tomato, and for you spice lovers, pickled jalapenos. Go as heavy or as light as you'd like with these, or don't use them at all. Delicious either way. 
And the final touch, a little bit of ranch dressing to tie our bacon cheeseburger nachos together and give it a little bit more sauce. And that's it. That is a well-distributed nacho. You can pull from anywhere on this mega sheet pan and get a little bit of everything. Check it out. Mm. So here you go, guys. Here's two awesome ideas on ways to use the mega sheet pan for your next game party. Let me know if you're team sweet or team savory. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I got to go. I have to invite some people over to help me eat all these nachos. See you next time.